I would like to run you through one of the um, uh, huge uh, transactions that uh, we were involved in. So this yeah. basically, this is uh, one of the largest steel makers in the world. And okay. uh, this company itself was formed by the merger of two huge companies. Uh, one is uh, European-based, and the other one uh, is, is globally present. And right. at, the time, at the time of the merger itself, uh, the merger was funded by heavy uh, debt. For example, the, both the companies have raised huge bonds in the market, and they used those bonds to so, so uh, basically, this company was formed with the merger of two huge companies, two steel companies, and um, uh, this was termed right. as a merger of equals. And at the time of merger, these companies have raised huge debt in the market, uh, in the in in the form of bonds, corporate bonds, and they use that money to uh, to pay off the uh, acquisition uh, consideration. Now, this company is already sitting with a significant right. amount of debt. But it, it, it was fine at that point of time because uh, this company, being in the steel industry, has a very stable revenues and stable cash flows from, uh, from and well diversified uh, uh, cash flows. Uh, so it was fine. But uh, post 2008 and 2009, when the world economy was going into recession, uh, the construction activity and the demand for steel got down considerably and uh, the revenues started uh, uh, getting affected. So the company was no longer able to generate as many cash flows, as much cash flows as it used to in order to service its debt. And uh, since the company already has huge amount of debt, uh, it was uh, getting difficult for the company to service its debt. In, uh, so so uh, it, it, it so happened that uh, all the three rating agencies which rated the company have successively downgraded the company. It was earlier a triple B company, now it has become a double B company. Uh, now, now this is a huge rating downgrade because uh, being a triple B means you are an investment grade company, which means that you can still uh, hope to raise funds at a attractive rates, and uh, and the size of the funds that you you'll be able to raise is huge. But once you're a double B company, which means that your uh, the investors' pers uh, perception of this company has changed, you'll not be able to raise money as easily as you you could, you, you used to do, and uh, and the and the interest rates also shoot up. It, it, there is also one problem because those who invest, those investors who invest in investment grade companies typically don't invest in uh, non-investment grade companies. So the set of investors for this company has also moved from uh, uh, pen from pension funds and uh, you know financial institutions to hedge funds now. So so this right. has posed a problem.